the main thing that attracted me was, the, the, in the beginning, the scientific aspect. Um, as uh, you can see, I actually have a PhD in molecular biology. I did that before going to medical school. It was in the late 1990s that I was working in molecular biology in a laboratory, and a brand new drug at that time called Gleevec came out for uh, CML and that changed the field completely. That was really the first designer drug specifically targeted toward one disease that changed the field, uh, created, uh, turned CML from a, an essentially fatal disorder to something that's easily managed. That event right there told me that I needed to be in this fast moving pace field so that I can actually be a part of it. The older days of using just chemotherapy to try to poison cancer, and unfortunately at the same time poisoning our patients, uh, trying to beat back the cancer without actually causing harm was very, very difficult. Now we're moving into the era where uh, regular chemotherapy is going on the back burner and we will only be using it under select conditions. And we'll actually be using personalized medicine, uh, agents that are targeted specifically for that individual with minimal side effects. It seems like every couple of months a brand new assay comes out so that we can actually take the DNA out of the tumor cells themselves and look at the specific events and genetic changes that occur to turn those normal healthy cells into the cancer cell in that individual. And it is different between different people. And in many cases we're actually able to uh, use specific drugs to target those mutations without causing a lot of different side effects. One of the reasons I came to Florida Cancer Specialist is the uh, robust uh, clinical trial program that we have. I come from a major university where I did all of my training and we had a lot of clinical trials as you would expect. I was actually amazed at the number of available trials here including early phase one and phase two trials for brand new drugs. I found that it was actually easier for me to get patients enrolled on these trials in a practice like Florida Cancer Specialist than at a major university. And that was one of the more attractive things to me. Where I come from at a major university, everything is subspecialized, where the oncologist and hematologist will do just one or two cancer types. And yes, it's great to be an expert in that field, but when something comes up that's slightly outside of it, you have to go down the hall or find someone who actually does know a little bit more about it. Here at Florida Cancer, uh, yes, we all have our individual expertise, but uh, it's amazing just how comfortable all of us are at managing the wide range of both solid tumors and hematologic uh, issues. And uh, the fact that we're all in the same room at the same time. We don't have separate offices. It's one big office that we are all in working. And um, throughout the day, we're all turning around, just asking questions of each other running cases by each other so that we can actually get multiple opinions and make sure that we're on the same page. I was very happy working in a laboratory developing new therapies and that sort of thing, but there was something missing and it was the human component. Uh, so I decided that I wanted to go to me um, medical school, but initially the thought was that I was going to use my medical degree to enhance my scientific career. And that's how things started to go for a while and I was actually happy with it. But it came to the point that I was finding myself happier on the mornings that I would get up and go to my clinic to see my patients than the days I would go to my lab. And that's when I realized I had to go into full-time clinical medicine and uh, use clinical uh, research as my scientific outlet. The fact that no matter what, even if I know that I cannot cure their cancer, I can at least help them. No matter what is going on, I can do something to improve the quality of their life or to ease their suffering. And if I can use my scientific background to make that go a little bit more smoothly, all the better.